So basically what it does, once you created that company and if you done it after uh, January 1st, 2024, you become like a reporting agent for that entity. And as a reporting agent, you have like a duty which is governed by duty of competence to make sure that you know who beneficial owners of that company are and make sure that they are reporting their status regularly and updating the status with FinCEN. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's understandable. They want to know about who owns business entities in the United States. However, how practical it would be for you if you are like a structuring a company for O1 or L1 updated yeah. every 30 days when, once you like created a new job description for the manager or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I would rather not even touch it. And yeah. another thing is I think it deserves like lots of discussion and people are overlooking it. Last year, ABA House of Delegates updated um, model rule 116. It's mandatory withdrawal. And they specifically said, if you detected even signs of money laundering, you shall withdraw. And basically, okay, if you have a client who doesn't want to be reported to FinCEN for whatever reason, undisclosed reason, do you have an obligation to withdraw under that updated rule? Because it might be a sign of money laundering. Yeah. Uh, I think it's like a huge, huge issue that we still need to figure out how to deal with. But while we are figuring it out, I'm not touching 